Hi, my name is Michael, or you can call me MBL Designs, and today I'm going to do a analysis video on the new set 76042, other known as the Shield Helicarrier. And this set has been rumored for a while now, and finally we have some HD pictures of it. But uh, yeah, this set comes with. 2,996 pieces, which is really awesome. It's 16 and up, and yeah, I already said the set number and the name. And when I first saw this set, I was kind of in between if I wanted to get it or not. Because my first thought was, it's too many studs. But then I actually looked uh, looked at all the other pictures, then I actually decided I'm going to buy this. Then I looked at the designer video with Marcus Bessa, the designer, and I'm totally going to get this set uh, when it comes out or whenever. Uh, and I really suggest you guys watch the video or the, the, the design video before you watch this video so I will have a link in the in the description so you guys can watch that first then watch my video because I think you guys want to watch the design video first promise uh, I promise you you will be kind of amazed what this set will be able to do and I will actually talk about it so yeah and Right now, I can't think of anything they could have changed because I'm not that mad about the stud thing right now because I just thought of the thing. This is Lego, and one of the things that makes Lego Lego is the studs on every brick. So I'm not that disappointed at that anymore because all of the other things in this set makes up for it so let's look at all of the amazing pictures that we have of this set so far and all of the amazing minifigures we get in this set so first out we have the st statistic board or stats or whatever you want to call it and you can see Avengers Helicarrier and all of the facts that you need to know about this Helicarrier. The length and yeah, all of that stuff. Uh, and you can just pause right now if you really want to read it. But this video will be very long. Uh, so I will not be reading all of that. So let's take a look at the other pictures. And here is all of the things that you get in this set, which is quite a lot in my opinion. And I will talk a bit more about it, but I really like what they did with the micro minifigures. And I will show those in more details because we have more pictures of them. But I really, really love this set right now. And yeah, as I said, I have totally forgot my first thoughts on this set because the design video just made up for it. So I will just talk about some of the things that they said in the design video. First of all, we have nine micro minifigures or eight uh, micro uh, minifigures of agents from S.H.I.E.L.D. So that's real cool. Then we have a Iron Man micro figure, Hawkeye micro figure, and a Nick Fury micro figure, and that's really cool because we can actually use them as action figures for the normal minifigures. So really love that, and I think that will be uh, or will work pretty good with the Big Bang Theory theme or uh, Lego ID set, hopefully a theme. But yeah. Uh, then we have the cool display stand for the normal minifigures, which is Hawkeye, Maria Hill, um, Steve Rogers, 
and Nick Fury and Black Widow. And you can see immediately that Hawkeye and Black Widow are the same from the upcoming Age of Ultron sets. Or I think so because we haven't seen that many detailed pictures but from the pictures I've seen here they are exactly the same. The head printing can be different. I'm not too sure about that. But I really really love the fact that we finally have a face printing for Captain America aka Steve Rogers. Because we haven't really gotten a face printing for him. We have got him a face print with his uh, helmet or whatever you call it. Uh, and that is really cool, but I really love the fact that we now have a face print and uh, with a hairpiece this time. Uh, with the fact that he didn't really use his helmet uh, that much in the um, uh, Wind Soldier movie. And will probably not use it that, uh, that much in Age of Ultron from what we have seen from the trailers because it doesn't really have it that much in the mo uh, or in the tr in the trailer but yeah this set is just so awesome the road plates or big tiles that you can see will uh, if yeah you have now probably seen the design video so they are printed which is amazing because I hate applying big stickers, and I think very many people can agree with that. But there is quite a lot of stickers anyway for smaller things like the 64 number, and uh, just uh, uh, some places where the big plates doesn't cover, they just used smaller tiles with stickers. But just happy that they didn't use big stickers and the good thing is that uh, these plates can be used for other things so that's really nice and you can probably see the repulses for the actual propellers or yeah whatever you call them I think they are repulse blast uh, or they stated something like that in the wind soldier that uh, Tony Stark helped them, so I think they are repulse blasts. So that is really cool, and they do actually spin, and you can add the power function to it. So that's really awesome. And yeah, we have the sh uh, shield display for the minifigures, which is awesome, and yeah, really, really awesome. So I will go in more detail on the sides of the whole ship and. Lay, um, at last the uh, figures and micro figures so let's have a look and here we can see the underside and one of the things that catch my eye really fast was number one they uses the boat bottom parts that we have seen for, from the pirates theme or mostly the pirate themes and that is a really good use because it's really hard to get that type of shape without using a bigger piece. So really like that. And just a bit above it, you can see that they used the cockpit pieces for minifigures and used them on their side to make the rounded windscreen. Which is an awesome design in my opinion. And I was kind of wondering how they would do that when it was rumored that Lego would do a helicarrier so really really love that and yeah you can also see on the uh, propellers or repulsors they do have transparent uh, big wheels so that's really nice to get them in transparent don't really know if they have come in transparent before I think they were in a Spider-Man set, but I don't know what sh what color they were. So, yeah, but biggest thing for me here is the windscreen, actually, and the use of the uh, boat pieces on the bottom. So, really, really nice. And here you once again see a look at the 64 sticker. And also the guns at the front, so really, really awesome. 
and here we get a look of it from the front and really really love the uses of the transparent claw pieces from Shima used on the repulsors really like the printed barrier pieces and really love the fact that it actually made the micro figures and printed them because that is just an awesome feature and I will show you guys another picture later showing just the inside which is probably the most detailed thing about this set so yeah I really really love the uses of the micro figures or micro micro figures because yeah the yeah, Lego game figures are called micro figures but yeah anyway the trophy figures I can I can call them I guess but really love that and now we do get a look at the two micro uh, quinjets which looks awesome I really love this design over the polybag design that we got uh, uh, I think it was a couple of years ago but I may be wrong on that but just really love all of the different shapes and stuff like that so really really nice and here we can see it from the back and I have actually zoomed in a bit on this picture because there isn't that much going on but the most important thing is that you can see the crank on the uh, in the middle of the screen right now and that is actually used to uh, rotate all of the propellers or repulsors at the same time and Marcus Bessa also said in the video that you can hook up it to power function and that is just amazing and that will be the uh, first time for me getting power function and that is so I can light it up with the power function lights and uh, power it up with uh, power function motors so the uh, repulsor spins so that's really awesome and I also want to show you guys the actual thrusters on the back and I really love how they did the, uh, the shape of the actual uh, because that is just a really good use of parts in my opinion using the yeah whatever the parts are called I'm kind of tired right now so sorry for that but uh, I really love that this can be hooked up to power function and you can use both a motor and lights on it and hopefully they will put up some type of instruction to how to make make it work on in the right way because I don't really know how to use power function because I yeah I haven't used it so yeah but yeah this is the back side so let's have a look at some other angles of the set and now we can see it from this side and it looks really awesome we can also see one of the quinjets in flight which uses a transparent rod piece that we could kind of see in one of the uh, pictures uh, I showed earlier in this video but really like it but one thing that I probably will do is here on the sides right above the big uh, 64 sticker there are a lot of studs showing and I will be putting over tiles over that because it's I think there is a limit where uh, it's too many studs or too less studs and I really liked what they did on the tumbler the UCS tumbler from Lego Batman because they uh, mixed it up and had the tiles and studs uh, kind of all over and I wish they did it on this but yeah that would uh, yeah, knock the price up a bit higher so I'm kinda happy at the same time that they didn't do it and that uh, gives us the opportunity to actually uh, make some difference and modify it ourselves so that's really nice but yeah I can't really say much else on the sides because yeah, there isn't much else to actually talk about. 
we can see that they uses or they uh, used uh, technique pieces which is kind of understandable because uh, Lego bricks if you just stack them on they will be strong but um, Lego technic pieces are a bit or much stronger and if you connect them in the um, smartest way they will be really um, sturdy and all of that so really like that so here we have a picture of all of the different micro things on it but from the back side so we can see some boxes and uh, some other things on the side some uh, uh, agents of shield talking to Nick Fury and now I'm talking about the micro or the trophy figures then we can also see uh, Iron Man and Captain America talking beside the uh, forklift which is a really cool micro build in my opinion actually and that goes for all of the micro builds especially the um, Quinjet because that's really really awesome and here we can see the pr bigger printed uh, road type of plates and as I said before, that's really awesome that they are printed. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, and there isn't that much else to say about this. Uh, we can see the control tower, which looks good. It's a control tower. Um, yeah, but nothing that special uh, right here. So, let's have a look at the other pictures. And here we have a picture of it from the, yeah, from the top, and I'm not going to talk that much during this bit, because I just want you guys to look at it and admire all the good te details that they put into this, so, yeah, that is what I has, have to say about this picture. And here is a better look at the bigger tile piece with the printing on it, which looks amazing once again. And we do get two different kinds from what I could see in the pictures. One with the shield lo logo and one without it. And the one without it will work perfectly for maybe a military ship thing that the Helicarrier is kind of based on. So, for those who like military stuff, could use that, or we could actually use this for a bigger version of the Hellcare that we can make on our own. So, that's really nice that we have that piece. And uh, this big part, or yeah, the thing that you see on screen right now, this takes off to reveal the inside where you have the big meeting or yeah, control room uh, that we saw in the Avengers movie and I will show you guys a picture of that now and here is the inside of the Hellcare which looks amazing and I was wondering how they would actually fit something like this in and they did it in some awesome in a really awesome way using the micro trophy figures and this actually surprised me because all of the screens for the micro trophy figures they this type of um, attachment wasn't kind of legal for Lego to make and when I say legal Lego have different building techniques that are allowed and not allowed so legal or not illegal and these were not 
it uh, legal before, but apparently Lego have changed their mind about it, and it works really good, and I can't fig yeah, figure out any other way they could do it using a, yeah, so to speak, legal building technique, except this one, which is really nice. So, you can see Captain America, Iron Man, and Nick Fear in the middle, and Hawkeye to the side, then four uh, agents of shields on each side, so a total of eight agents of shield. And yeah, I really just love this, and uh, this is something that really changed my mind about this set, so yeah. And now there isn't that many pictures left of... Or, if I'm right, there isn't any pictures left of the set, so I will talk about the figures now. Starting with the micro trophy figures. And as I said, this is probably one of the best things about this set. We do get some awesome micro trophy figures. To start out with, we have Iron Man, Captain America, um, 8 Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., then we have yeah, um, Hawkeye, Nick Fury, and that is just amazing that we get this, and they really fit well with this set, so I will just let you guys look at these micro trophy figures, and then I will talk about the normal figures that we get in this set. And to start out with, I will start with the two exclusive minifigures, or, yeah, uh, two and a half, I guess. Uh, first of all, we have Maria Hill, which is uh, her debut as a Lego minifigure, and it looks really good. Um, I think we have seen the face printing before, but don't really know. Uh, the hairpiece we have seen before, but the torso printing is really nice. Then we get arm printing with the shield logo, which is awesome, because I wanted that so much. Uh, then we have a new Nick Fury, which is based on the movie version, not the uh, 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 Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, which we have got before. The face is not exclusive to the Nick Fury, but the torso and legs are, so that's really nice. And then we come to the exclusive, uh, the half, uh, which is uh, uh, Steve Rogers, because the only thing that is exclu exclusive to him is the hair and the head, or... Yeah, mostly the head, because the hair, you can get it in many different sets. So, I really, really love the head printing. So, yeah, and I will show you guys uh, the double-sided, or the other side of his face. But then we also get Hawkeye and Black Widow, which looks like they are exactly the same that they are going to be in the Age of Ultron sets. It's... Uh, and I will say the same thing about Street Steve Rogers' torso and legs. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's have a look at the f figures uh, one by one. Now I will just show you guys the minifigures. And I will, I will not talk that much. But I will say I was kind of disappointed that we don't get a aging Coulson. Because 
that is a fan favorite character and in my opinion he needed to become a minifigure and hopefully he will in the future but sadly he is not in this set so just enjoy the pictures of these minifigures and I will talk about what I think about this set. So this is definitely a buy for me, for multiple reasons. Number one, f the pow function and light up uh, feature that you just need to buy. A, I think you, there is one set where you get uh, a pow function motor and some lights, and that's all you need to fix this so you can actually light it up and make the um ro uh, rotors actually rotate so that's really really cool then also the micro trophy figures that is just an amazing thing that they may uh, did with this set and i can't think of any other way they could done that and actually get the whole um control station in this set so that was a really clever way of putting that in this set um, but as I said I didn't like one thing which was the studs showing and I, it kind of grown on me right now but at some uh, spots on this set I will uh, put on some of my tiles because I have some light bluish great uh, 2 by 2 uh, tiles, so that should work out pretty good. Uh, but, except that all of the things, the micro builds, the micro uh, trophy figures, the minifigures, the display stand for the minifigures, everything looks amazing, and... I can't think of any other way they could have done it at a reasonable price or um, not an amazing or extrusion, uh, extrusion, what the hell is that, Yeah, but extremely hard to build as one of the uh, helicarriers on LDD, not LDD, uh, Lego Ideas. So this was a really, really good way they did it. So please rate, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And please let me know your thoughts in the description. And see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.